What's going on everybody? My name is Eric Bland. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. So today we're going to be making hats. That's right. Company logo hats for my company. Uh, we're going to be putting our logo right across the hat here. I always thought maybe we should do like half a hat type deal and then the, the person's name, but I'm just going to do the whole hat across there. Uh, so those are all set. Where did I get the hats at real quick? Did I get them off a fancy website? Anything like that? No. Look where I got it from. Wait for it. Let's see. Dollar General. That's right. Got it for Dollar General. $3.75 a piece. There's snapbacks on there. I think they're pretty cool looking. Not bad, right? They're going to look good with the logo on there. I can just throw these out to my guys. Once they get ruined, we can go ahead and buy another one for $3.75. I do have scrap that we're using today. All right. This is the new studio. Studio. This is the new area that I have specifically just for shirt making, hat making, all the signs and stuff that I do. This is specifically where, uh, let me go ahead and tip this down a little bit so you guys can see all the way. Well, let's do all the way over here. We have all the area I could go ahead, scissors, anything that I might need um, for the crafting areas there. I have the press here, clamshell press, cricket maker here. Um, iPod here, desktop there. And then if I work my way around, sorry about the light right there. This is the YouTube office. What's up, what's up? Um, this TV right there can go ahead and I can tilt that over here so I can see anything that I might need. Let's say if I want to watch TV or if I want to see, you know, the item blown up uh, and make sure I can see it a little bit bigger because my, you know, my eyes are getting bad. But um, that's able to be there too. But this is going to be the new area. This is the press we're going to be using today. This is the mini iron. This mini iron, if you're doing any kind of little logos for any reason, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. Okay, you guys? Would I highly recommend this? I would. All right. Let me know what you guys use, whether you guys use the Cricut mini press type idea, if you guys use your own iron, things like that. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and pull this logo up right now and i'm just pulling it up on my cricut design space here we're gonna hit new project and we're gonna get started right all right we're just gonna go ahead and browse files here not browse files we are gonna upload image there we go we're gonna pop it up just like so I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper always want to have let's get a couple of these things going here So I'd like to measure, take the piece off here. I'd like to measure across with the ruler. So we're at like five inches across. And I'm good at about three, three and a quarter. All right, so I'm gonna measure this guy real quick on here. So we'll do up to four, almost up to five there and I'm not going to go all the way down to three anyway so we're going to be at like two and a half so we can do that so let's do those numbers here we're just going to bring this up what did I say five this is a good way to look so just about five so bring it up here bring it in a little closer so I can see the numbers just about five and two and a half. That's about perfect there. So we're going to go ahead and hit make this guy. We're going to turn the mirror on. So it's going to mirror the image. So just to make sure I'm at three and a half, three and a quarter. This is perfect. I might put this down just a... Right to the white line, right to that white line across the top there. We're going to pop this bad boy in. Mm -hmm. 
do, do, do. All right, we're gonna load it. We're gonna hit continue. It's gonna try to find my little area here. Let's go with that. It always says make sure it's in range. It always does that for the first time for whatever reason. Sometimes it even kicks out the, um, the mat. So we'll see if it kicks out the mat this time. And the other hats are up here too, but I'm not going to make those right now. I just want to make one. So we're going to do it all in time here. Still thinking, still loading. The cool part is it has your favorite materials that you can put on here. I just put vinyl on here. We're good to go. So there we go. This is going to be loaded. I always like to double check in the back to make sure nothing's going to stop the machine. Sometimes things get behind there. on the floor is fine all right while that's doing that we'll get this plugged in here in just a minute I plug this over here into the socket it'll turn on so it's not on it's just it says that it's got power so right now there's nothing there but as soon as I hit this button on it will go so I can click it to one then I can get it up in heat or down in heat but I'm gonna just keep it off because we don't need it on right now so what tools are you gonna need now you're gonna need a pick and I can turn these lights up here too by just turn it up so I'm not gonna turn it too hot right. so now we wait And we wait some more and it tells you here exactly how long your project has dun, 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 dun. so we're a little over 75 percent done on this so you guys can order your hats real quick while we're sitting here waiting for this machine to take place here you guys can order your hats from uh, Bell and Canvas you're going to need your license to order that off. And I wanted these quickly. And a buddy of mine bought some. I'm like, dude, where'd you get that hat at? And he's like, well, it's cheaper made. And it is. It's not the best quality. But it's something to throw on my guys when they're out there on the field. Because they get their hats dirty as can be. So I have other hats. I don't have them up here that are a lot better quality. It's something that you can wear out. Something you can wear in the field um, if you would like to as well. But I think this is just perfect the way it is. So we're, we must have like an air show going on because there's, that's the fourth plane that I've heard so far. So we'll see, we'll see if that's what's going on. And we're almost done. All right, here we go. We're rocking and rolling. Just getting ready to finish up the cut. There we go. That's what I like to see. Cut perfect, just take it right off the board. And what we're gonna do is we're going to weed this out now. So what I like to do is I like to put that sheet cover over immediately so it, it stays sticky and you don't have to wash it as quick. So you can slide that right under there. I shut the machine off when I'm done and I put it right back. So there we go. So let's go ahead and weed this out. Girl, I know you, but you're everything I want in life. You're fighting danger like Kung Fu. Check. Turn this on. Up 
the four. And that's right where we're gonna want it. I like to make a little slit right here, right there, right there. Now you take one this way and cut it down like that. So what it does is it allows it to, you, you're manipulating where the plastic can go on it. So you can make those slits in there doesn't have to be perfect, just whatever works best for your project. Dun, 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 dun. All right. We're also going to need some wax paper. We have some wax paper right here. You can get this wax paper at the dollar store. I got a big roll of it. I'm still using it. So we'll just cut this down to size. Just need it to go over the emblem like so. All right, so we're getting up there in the heat. So what we're going to do is just we're going to measure this out real quick. I'm going to go to about right there. Gives me enough on the other side. Perfect. So what I'm going to do, I like it to make sure that that is perfectly on there, as perfect as you can get. I'm going to use some painter's tape, just a little piece of painter's tape. we can hold that in place so what we'll do is we'll just take this and hold that in place right there perfectly where I would like it and make sure it's straight across Gonna put some heat to it. It does get hot on the opposite side, which I do have for that. If you have one of these, and you're just gonna rub this back and forth on here until you see it start to pick up off of the plastic and you'll see it start to take shape of the hat fabric you'll start seeing the fabric on it so we can take this off now Or the tape. And we're just gonna go back and forth until you see the fabric through the paper. There we go. Same thing. See how that paper's lifting up now? Real slow, we don't want to pick anything else up. And then from there, I'm going to take the parchment paper and go over it. This is going to leave a really nice um, shine to it too if you use the more waxy side. 
to the fabric. I believe that it has a better look to it. And we're just going right over it. Remember that back cloth is on the back of there. I get one right there in the middle. And I'm not just placing the iron on there, I'm constantly, it's in small circular motions. Always checking the edges, the middle where the little, a lot of people say, but does it mess up on the line? No, I don't think it does. Now let me take a look and make sure. We're heated up here, so we might as well go ahead and do it just a little bit more. And then we're just doing like so. Now the cool part is, is now I have a logoed hat. They know what I do. You guys can have one for your small business too. I do these for companies if you're interested in it. There we go. So I got a hat. And that's my cat complaining about his food today. He didn't like it. So there we go. Got my hat all set to go, all logoed up, and away I can go. So the cool part is on the other ones, on the other hats, you can put your name on there or whatever. Uh, see, you got this to this. It's definitely way better. Love it. It's a logoed hat. It's what you're going to go around. You can... Tell people about your business. They're going to look at your hat and see who you are and what you do. It's a bit tight. I'm going to go down one more of that snapback. Turn this off here. And you guys have yourself a brand new hat. So there we go. Actually, I'm going to tighten it up one more. Just like so. There we go. All about promoting your business. See you guys.